Hello, I'm Tom Logziak. In this video, I've got another tip from Rade Markovic, who is the head coach of German Bundesliga club ASV Grün Wettersbach. Rade is going to share his tips about weight transfer. Okay, this is using your legs and your body weight to generate more speed, more spin, and to help you recover to play the next shot. This is something that all professional players do very well. So if you want to get extra quality on your attacking shots, then keep watching. I think, I think what is quite important and uh, which uh, enables you to, to go faster on the ball is transfer of the weight. It means your hip has to work and you have to transfer the weight permanently from right to the left leg. Dependable do you play a forehand or, or the backhand. For example, if I permanently transfer the weight, I keep my shoulder always on the, on the same level and uh, after forehand I'm ready to react on the backhand. Other, other side would be if I play forehand like this and I don't transfer the weight. I'm, I'm not reacting so fast on the ball in, in my backhand, but if I transfer the weight and after the, each move, movement I come more or less like in the middle back, then I'm fast enough to react uh, on the balls wherever they are. The, by the back end, you can transfer the weight better if you are playing like a swing with the back end. Then you have to transfer a bit. But when you are on the, on the table, you don't have so much time for the opening, then you play just with the underarm in, in uh, front of you, because there is a time issue. But if you are staying here and from the forehand you get the ball in the back end, it's very important that you transfer weight again because you are coming again in the position that you can react on the both side. And what is by this weight transferring unbelievable important that your weight is on your toes, not on your heels. If you are sitting on the heels, your ass is dragging you down and uh, this is like an anchor to you. You have to be permanently on the toes that you can uh, react on each side. Each time when you transfer the weight and you put your weight in the ball, you are getting extra quality without using extra power, because uh, this is a classical physics. You put your weight in the ball, ball is getting stronger out, plus what is for me actually very important, you are following with the upper body the ball and you are controlling much better the placements. This is for the, for the balls down the line, parallel balls, very important because this is a shorter way. And if you play a parallel without using your weight and upper body, many times you will, you will face the problems that ball are going out of the table. But if you transfer the weight and follow the ball with your upper body, you can control the path of the ball much, much uh, better and easier. You will, make, you will make much less mistakes. Now these, these tips, I feel like they're, they're really relevant for my own game. Over the past year, I've, I've been trying to work quite hard on improving my weight transfer, especially with my forehand shots. I think for such a long time, I've been just playing my forehand, just using my arm too much. So over the past year or so, I've been really trying to use my legs better, trying to use my waist, my hips, to transfer my energy into the ball and it really does work when you get it right the right transfer the right timing you can really generate more speed and more spin without putting any extra energy in and that's the feeling that you want that this weight transfer it's nice and smooth and relaxed that you're generating easy power so, I think it's definitely something that you should try getting into your game. Definitely on the forehand side, but then also on the backhand side as well. 
give it a go. Please do leave comments on this video when you've tried it out. Let me know how you've got on. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks as always to Rade for sharing his tips. And thanks also to uh, Eula, Briber and ASV Grunvetersbach for helping me to make this video. I'll have more videos coming soon. If you like, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.